Hey everyone, Sarah here from The Average Tourist and today I'm going to take you on a tour of Las Vegas and show you some of the sights. Let's go! The first stop on your list needs to be the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign. This sign is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city since its installation in 1959. You might have to wait in line, but it's a fantastic photo op and a free attraction too. Next up is the Neon Museum. If you like signs, the Neon Museum Boneyard should definitely be on your list. This outdoor exhibit showcases historic signs from old Las Vegas. Tickets start around $25 US dollars per person and it's a fantastic attraction with knowledgeable volunteers. Number 3 is Seven Magic Mountains. Located off the strip and in the middle of the desert, this colorful rock formation is a great photo op and takes you out of the hustle and bustle of the city. Get there soon though because it's only supposed to stick around through 2021. Number 4 is Fremont Street. The Fremont Street experience cannot be missed. Here you will be taken back to the charm of old Las Vegas with historic hotels like the Four Queens and Golden Nugget. Over the years they've also added modern attractions like zip lining, an LED light show and other performances taking place along the street. There are also plenty of souvenir shops, casinos, bars and restaurants in this area to keep you busy including the novelty restaurant Heart Attack Grill. This is primarily a pedestrian area and definitely something you cannot miss if you're in Vegas. Red Rock Canyon is the next top Vegas attraction you must see. This is a national conservation area in the Mojave Desert and features a one-way, 13-mile scenic drive through the beautiful canyon. Along the way, there are scenic stops for photography and trails for hiking, biking, and climbing. You will need a vehicle to get here and enjoy this stop, but it's well worth it. Number six is the Bellagio Conservatory and Botanical Gardens. The lobby is decorated with beautiful floral displays and changed four times a year with each season. This is a pretty attraction and definitely a great photo spot, so you don't want to miss seeing the Bellagio Conservatory. The seventh attraction you can't miss is the Fall of Atlantis show in the Caesars Palace Forum Shops. This animatronic show includes fire, water, and large talking statues. It's definitely a great free activity to catch if you're in the area. Number eight are the circus acts at Circus Circus Hotel and Casino. These midway acts are free and perform throughout the day. These are a great show for the whole family and you can catch some pretty interesting acts like jugglers, trapeze artists, and circus clowns to name a few. The ninth attraction is the Strat Skypod and Thrill Rides. At 1149 feet tall, this is the tallest freestanding observation tower in the United States. The tower offers incredible 360 degree views of Vegas with indoor and outdoor viewing decks. It even has a few thrill rides for the more adventurous visitors. In case it's not evident, I was not an adventurous visitor. Number 10 on my list is to visit the lobby at the Wynn Hotel. This lobby just looks magical with all of the twinkle lights, flowers, and greenery. It is definitely a popular photo spot, so if you're looking to take photos here, you'll have to arrive early or be very patient. Either way, it's worth it. The next Vegas attraction is the gondola ride at the Venetian. There are two options here. The first is outside in front of the hotel and the second is inside through the Grand Canal shop area. 
Both options come with a singing gondolier and seem like a romantic activity for couples. Though, for a private gondola for two, you're looking at about 116 US dollars. So I'll let you decide if it's worth it. Number 12 is a visit to the Eiffel Tower at the Paris Hotel. This tower is a half-size replica of the original in Paris, France, and the design of the hotel and tower definitely reminded me of my official Eiffel Tower visit in Paris. On your visit, you'll go up 46 stories to the observation deck for views of Vegas below. You can even try to time your visit to catch one of the Bellagio fountain shows from above. At the top, there was a cage-like structure all around, so it was a little difficult to take photos, but they did have spots for cameras to get some unobstructed photos and views. In the evenings, you can even watch an Eiffel Tower light show, similar to the originals in Paris. Attraction 13 is the Bellagio Fountain Show. One of the most iconic attractions in Vegas is the free fountain show in front of the Bellagio Hotel. These shows take place every day throughout the day and offer unique combinations of water, music, and light. I stopped at every opportunity to watch and enjoyed every single show. Number 14 is to get a drink from the tipsy robot in the Miracle Mile shops at Planet Hollywood. Two robotic arms are the bartenders and you can order your own mix or pick from several popular drinks. Number 15 on my list is to attend a show. The variety of entertainment in Vegas has something to fit everyone's interest and taste. You can see musical performances, magic shows, comedy, variety shows, and my personal favorites, Cirque du Soleil. On my last trip to Vegas, I saw two performances, Michael Jackson One and Miss Dare. These were incredible and I highly recommend both. The next thing to do on my list is to take a tram ride between hotels. Not only will this save your feet some walking, but it's also a nice air-conditioned option to travel between properties. There are three trams that operate between a few of the hotels, so check it out before your trip. And the best part? Well, they're completely free. Number 17 is to lounge by the pool. Depending on when you visit the city, taking a leisurely day to relax by the pool is a great activity. You're already paying for pool usage in pretty much every hotel resort fee, so take advantage of the amenities while you're there. The next attraction is the Shark Reef Aquarium. This aquarium is located in Mandalay Bay and has various aquatic life to see, including sharks, sea turtles, stingrays, and other fish. Admission could get pricey, but it is something that a family with kids might enjoy for a few hours. And if you purchase tickets between Monday and Thursday, you get free access to the Mandalay Bay Beach. Number 19 is to ride the Big Apple Coaster at New York, New York. This roller coaster takes you above the hotel and brings you into a virtual battle with alien invaders and other monsters. All in virtual reality, of course. Personally, I thought the prices were too high for this experience, but if you're into thrill rides, this might be an attraction for you. Number 20 is to grab yourself a drink and enjoy it while you walk the strip. Las Vegas has an open container lot, meaning you can drink alcohol while walking the Las Vegas Strip and on Fremont Street. The next attraction is the Flamingo Habitat at the Flamingo Hotel. This free habitat features a flock of Chilean flamingos and various other birds like swans, pelicans, and ducks. And in the ponds, you can see turtles and koi, so this is a great attraction for all ages. And number 22, explore the hotels and casinos. I spent two days walking through the hotels and casinos on the strip, and I know I didn't get to see them all. 
Many of the hotels have their own feature attraction, different restaurants, and you can try out the different casinos if gambling is your thing. No matter what you're looking for, you can definitely find something to keep you busy in Vegas. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more travel related videos very soon.